back outside the cave now. Oh. A little book. Notebook. Oh, I got it. Ooh, if that's a little bit extra. Neat. Emerging from the depths of remembrance, a new serenity seeps forth into vision. Glistening in the distance, the overbearing copper orb begins to set its wavering mind. We are closer now than ever before to the persevering peak. A place where we too will find our home to dream. A restful sleep is the ultimate reward for those embroidered in tumultuous turmoil. At least for this moment, there is nothing left but to close the lying eyes and open the wandering wisdom of uninterrupted thought. At this moment of utter twilight, the veil of truth and falsity relinquishes its nature of the opaque. Just enjoying the soundtrack there. Eh. You don't even have to press E, you just have to walk onto it. That is a lovely lake, my god, hang on. Eh. There. Nice view. Can't even drop off it. Looks great. So I'm thinking Montana, but I don't really know. It's like parts like this make it look like really like Canadian, like almost Albertan near the Rockies past like Banff or like Kananaskis or something. So I need to know. I'm gonna have to find out afterwards. But I think I think the States is probably more likely. Oh, I'm zoning out a little bit again. And we're back. Okay, this bit of the soundtrack's great. In the not so distant geography the source of the mountain streams fulfills a vast pool of hopes and dreams. Lotus petal along the outskirts of the seams, dancing and pooling all together, making their leave one after another in an endless cavalcade of organic staccato. Memories of the truth contort into beautification of reality. To many, what once was is not life's faithful occurrence due to whatever conventions of one's conviction. These trusted falsifications establish a history, both honest and maligned. But whichever of these creates the further benefit will stand the test of time. Can it be that actuality can be erased through the complexity of memory? Oof, sometimes he goes a, a little bit deep for me. <laughs> Can actuality be erased for some, something about memory? I don't know. Okay, I really like this bit of the soundtrack. I guess the soundtrack's probably only like three bucks because there's probably only like four tracks in it. One track for each chapter. I don't think there was a soundtrack during the... During the memories? Maybe there was. I don't remember. You can't really- I'm not gonna fault them for like, pop in. Cause it is- it's just an indie game, and it looks beautiful. And actually the view distance is pretty decent. See, so yeah, it's got quite obvious pop in, but... I'm- I'm just enjoying it, you know? The fact that it runs highest graphics at 60 FPS is great. So, you do you, game. Reaching for the petals, reaching for petals. Some birds. The second sighting of the familiar phantom brings peace to my frantic eating soul. Drawing water from the acquiring aquifer is none other than the rehabilitating reason for this vigorous venture. Her beauty reflects perfectly in the hopeful spring. The lotus flowers tell tales of majesty all to her touch. Okay, so I'm thinking next memory is going to be when they get married, and then the final memory will be when she dies, is my prediction. So I'm guessing the figure is Renee? I guess? Not Jesus? <laughs> it, was a, it was a guess, okay. <laughs> 
Doesn't have to be Jesus. It probably won't let us get too close, right? Petals may fall from the flowers they form. Their freedom fastens onto my fleeting and faltering feelings. A living touch only surpasses her loving will. Something more easily dreamt in a world no longer to be attained. So she just disappeared with a little sound effect when we rounded the tree. Oh fuck, I thought that was her. And then we got stopped here anyway. Great view. <gasps> Look, the petals. Do you think we're going to make it to the top of that mountain? Let's go. Eh. I do move so slowly. God, this place is so nice. Hello, Mr. Tree. I don't know if we ever found that oak they were talking about in the first chapter. Ah, oh, I was wondering where the river went. Are we going to have to cross this log, probably? Yes, it looks like it. And are we going to end at, like, another... Like a, a little cabin or something, maybe? Eh. We made it. Sun has only begun its arc into descendants. Before the night sets in, memories regain momentum. Dreams and their happenings fade into existence. Love and loss are among the most famous feelings in the moments of increasing dusk. There is still a sweetness to be felt. Light is still prevailing. For now, only somber moments take the stage. There is no stopping the prominence of these emotions. In the same way, there is no impeding the beginning of a new day. But in the sunlight, However faint, there is still time to make a change. A difference to keep the night from overlapping the glory of the nearest star. Accept that the feelings of loss and loneliness exist to promote the endearing experience gathered from fate's finer finishes. Oh, made it. When I first started the game, I totally... Something is to lose a piece of oneself. No matter the prominence, regardless of the moment, pieces of persona are left behind. And like the endearing oak, one must persevere the current that life forces us all into. The gifts given unto us are stolen without repair. But in the end, they are gifts and only alive for a fleeting time. Like everything else in this world, the endless river of time flows into the ocean of eternity. All things are caught in the tide of time. And it makes no difference. We alone are mere droplets, countless fragments. But together, we circulate humanity's cycle of joy Pain, gain, and loss. So when I first started the game, I was really exp What a journey this has been. To venture here to reach the highest peak at the end of the world. There is a softness to the ground here unfelt in neither the wood or the stone. The greenery that grows here is different near the lake. Everything upon this hill glows with such a sheen unseen by those unwilling or unable to take upon this quest of internal ascension. The fading light shimmers on the landscape as the sun glistens on the undersea wonders of this world, wavering in and out with the wind and the leaves. Breathing is heavy at first. Before the night's ocean overtakes one's vision and envelops the sky with something new, the day will soon be refreshed. But there is still much more to do before the dawn of the final day. 
Let's go. Memory three. One chapter left. Okay, so I was predicting wedding. Or maybe like immediately after they're married. Okay, so let's put us back here, which means that door is not open. What? We've done chapter three. Oh look, it's night now. Oh, what am I supposed to be checking this time? Yeah, when I uh, when I first started the game, oh, the laptop's open. I was really expecting. Whoa! God damn it! I was really expecting it to have been made by like a, a European company because that seems to be the trend with like a lot of walking simulators now. So I was just really expecting the the narrator to be like speaking in broken English. So it is just like it's such a relief to have him be so good. He's fantastic. Is it a ring? It's totally a ring, isn't it? Promise. The truest beginning of love starts at the end of all that came before. Not to be forgotten, but to be magnified into something entirely new. There is only one way to show such feeling of devotion, through a covenant of forever and always. Barely into adulthood, a perfect proposition must be made. Nearly two decades have passed since your first meeting. The magnitude of your nearing decisions weighs heavy. Never once has something so small carried such gravity. You go for a walk with Renee down the trail you both journeyed through in your youth. It's been many years at this point since the adventure had been undertaken. Life's many instances have kept the beloved from continuing further to the peak of the mountain. It feels like the first time you have both walked through the endless trees engulfing the sky. But this venture is more important than any other before it except from the original outset. As the mountain comes into crystal view, you put your hand in your pocket and reach for a box. Renee has not yet noticed this. You're too nervous to ask Renee outright to marry you, so you both continue your trip with the box string in hand. Renee walks ahead and reaches out to a limb to help her up to another level. She asks for your hand for support. You place your hand with the ring in her hand, and she loses her grip on the branch and falls over onto you. You're both bewildered, but importantly unharmed. You both begin to look frantically in the leaves to find the ring that had fallen in the excitement until you both place your hands on the intended treasure. From the ring to each other's eyes, your new focus is a powerful embrace unlike the world as seen before. She says yes on the condition that you don't wait too long for surprises next time. You reminisce on the years long past, long since past while lovingly holding one another. While working, walking further on the trail, Renee asks where to have the wedding. You say, why not at the top, while pointing to the everlasting peak. Such love as pure as this is often only dreamt about through words, craft, or song. Not ever has something so true existed. But the world is a balanced place. A wonderfully dreadful, beautifully terrifying place. So this love, this forever after, would not go on the way it ought to have. The peak was never reached, only aspired, until now. Chapter 4 so I was pretty close, guessing that chap like memory three would be the wedding or just after. It was the proposal, I guess. I still think I'm going to be right with with guess for memory four. So maybe we're going to be in winter now. Is it going to be like a season for each scene? Yes, it will. Oh, I thought I thought that was snow. <laughs> I guess it's just night. It's different stages of the day. This looks like just above where we were, actually. So we're going to the peak. Definitely looked snowy, didn't it? The finality of existence is among the highest truths reaching back to the conception of creation. Nothing lasts forever, regardless of the implications granted by the numerous promises made in one's lifetime. Love brings loneliness. Joy carries pain. Life leads to death. Everything ends. To dream of everlasting is futile. What is left behind will eventually be forgotten. There is no avoiding these words. The clock's hands continue to strike each hour without failure. 
his face unnerved, tirelessly turning the circumference of infinity. Every stroke signals the edge of one universe and the genesis of another. Will the gears that turn over time ever cease? What will happen then to this world? Will it stop? Or shall it find continuation without the need of its keeper? I keep having to stop walking or stop running because <laughs> my poor pinky is getting tired from just holding shift the whole time. <laughs> Would be nice if that was an option added. I like it's possible you can figure uh, fiddle around with like the INI files if there are any um, in like the game folder to speed up the running. I know you can in some games. I'll probably have a look afterwards. Okay, look for constellations. What if we're not even on Earth? Anyone, anyone see constellations? Me neither. Shit. I still think the third song, or the, the first song from the third chapter was my favorite. I think there's more than just four tracks At in the soundtrack. Peak. Above all created by man and its superior, feelings of forfeiture force deeper than any wounded heart can bear. It is here where the troubled soul will at last find peace from the bombardment of huddled empathy. There is nothing that can be said in this Two rings join together to become eternity. And still, this is not enough. Total transcendence requires more than a promise, metal, and a seal. More than love, one must relinquish themselves completely and give only to the other. But any lack of strength will cause the union to shatter, regardless of sickness or health. Oh. So what happened then? Did they, did they just divorce? That's kind of what it sounded like. I'm still not entirely convinced that it's not winter. It's very hard to tell. Oh. Oh, we just had to jump. I thought I'd reach the end. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is all just rock. Like, just grey rock in the under Maybe the moon. I was wrong to believe that there was nothing else waiting on the other side of the veil. Perhaps my sight became riddled with self-doubt and the fear of beginning again. I could never forget. To forget her would be a crime with no just punishment, not even after death. Surely there is nothing more foul to have forsaken an ideal so pure. The hollowed words of matrimony do mention the inevitability of separation. But regardless of my words of the past, my speaking during this journey, I never gave up hope. The hope to see her again someday. As I traveled the vacant Gaia, I searched to hear her voice, seeking the answer to why. Why did we not deserve the jubilations we dreamed during our youth? So, so he's like definitely told us that she died. So I'm guessing like the memory will still be when she died. I don't know if there's going to be like a little scene after the memory. Ooh, really blacking out here. Oof. Jeez, it's getting more intense each time it happens. I think first time it just blurred a little, then it had like the closing in. That one had like the the ringing in the ears and everything. Back then, when like the music picked up, <laughs> gave me a little bit of a spook because it was so so loud. I think I think it's just rock. I don't think it's snow. <laughs> uh oh, am I getting lost? Shit! Oh, we probably just climb up here, right? Uh, do we not? We do. Phew. I will say, I haven't actually gotten lost yet, and I usually manage to get lost in these kinds of games, so... Uh, thank you to the devs for making this as linear as it is. I like that. Oh, blacking out again. 
I think we're getting close to the end now. I think it's a fairly decent runtime so far. I'd guess it'll end before an hour is up. So I've been going for about 45 minutes right now. So $10 for an hour might be a little bit steep. It's really pretty though. It's got a great soundtrack, great voice acting. So I can kind of understand charging 10 bucks. Like maybe, maybe dropping it down to eight would seem a bit more fair. I'm not sure. But I really like this so far. I still can't tell. <laughs> I still think it could be snow. <laughs> Who knows? <gasps> Aurora Borealis. Wow. Sweet. Oh, it's so bright. Holy shit, this is great. Can't believe we came out of that cave, or that overhang, just in time to see it. And there's the, the little fireflies again. The tiny orbs of light from the depths of the mountain join me once more, flickering a path towards the summit. To the Alpha and the Omega of all things. For what exists now fell from the sky as rain. And there I shall return by the flickering flame of the night's messengers. I am no longer alone. I have reached the end of our journey here together. That's such like hopeful music actually. <laughs> They've done, like, these northern lights so well. They look great. But wait. What is this at the top of the mountain? This familiar form that has been forever etched into my mind. The roaring winds and the rising torches make evident it is she, the one whom I have been seeking. The only reason I have left to continue onward. Has she been waiting here for me? Is not the case. She has always been with me. There were two steps for every one taken on this journey. Rene, I have finally found you. No, Rene. Oof. Well, I really picked up there at the end. <laughs> Soundtrack's great. Rene. At the top of the mountain, Renee stretches out her hand towards me, and my soul is brimming with our childhood innocence. I'm in awe yet again. It's just like our first meeting all those many years ago. The feeling is not quite as it once was. Many years have passed, and our hearts are not as soft as they once were. But there's something to be said about the completeness we now share. Through every smile and every tear, we're still looking at one another in the same way. With all the wonder, all the love, and all the promise that is created by young love. We've had oh so many years with one another and it was impetuous of me to have taken them all for granted. Together we have lived with enough love to withstand the vastness of eternity. There is no longer a reason for despair. She is reminding me now of the promises we made so long ago. You told me you would take me to the top of this mountain, didn't you, Kai? You remember the time when you were children. You promised to take Renee to the top of the mountain and describe it to Renee in detail. Tragedy kept you from fulfilling this promise. Life's decisions are what led to this being the first and only time you would both make this journey to the summit. While it's a sweet moment to have finally fulfilled that vow you made all those years before, this should not have been that day at the parting of souls. I've been looking for you for so long, Renée. Why did you go? We were going to get married. What happened? Renée weeps. Kai, I'm not the one who has been gone. Please take my hand so you'll remember. Oh no. And here we are, at the beginning of all things, and at the end of this history's tomorrows. Love always was, and always will be the guiding light that brings you home, no matter the distance, whether it be across the world, throughout time, or transcending existence, love will find a way. You will never be alone, my dearest Renee. I 
I wish I could leave you with more solace than this. But know that what we have will never truly end. No matter how dark the world may seem, no matter the paths your life takes you, even if you find another, know that this will be all right. I want you to be happy forever. You have given me more than I could ever ask for, my darling. A life filled with joyous perfection. Know this for now and for always. I will always love you. Oh my god, that was so well done. Wait, is this the start of the game again? I, I think it These is. Yes, it is. <laughs> are an example oh, shit. What can be accomplished without man's interference. This forest, away from any town or communal society, is as untouched by man as any mass of green can be. Within these trees, among these streams, life is... And that is good enough. Oh wow, that's so good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow, they've actually got a pretty big team there for this. Dave Petit. I wonder what else he's done. Oh, it's such a, such a little credits. I like it. Frantically trying to look up Dave Pettit. Oh, no way. So Dave Pettit is actually born in Edmonton, Alberta, which is about three hours away from where I live in Alberta. So the game could have been set in Alberta. Um, he also did the narrating for Valiant Hearts, which was the game about the, the war. Uh, and he was actually in one episode of the Death Note anime, <laughs> interestingly enough. So there you go, that was a, a full playthrough of Reaching for Pedals. Um, I thought that was fantastic. Did I get every achievement? Uh, no, I'm missing one. The writer. You probably have to find, like, the notebook in each chapter, I'd guess. Um, I really like that. The ending caught me off guard. Um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was really, really nice. Really nicely done. Took me less than an hour to finish the whole thing, though, so just bear that in mind. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!